Okay, you made it. It's your favorite part of the show. <laughs> I know it is. I, I know saying, it what, is. What, what did we make it to? Oh, what the hell is wrong with people segment. See? Can we start with the impaired driver that the Vancouver police pulled over on the weekend? Like as though he wouldn't be noticed driving a vehicle with disco lights the and the undercarriage. What the hell is wrong with people? That's the kind of person who probably would be an impaired driver. Agreed. Right? D like, <laughs> it's Darwinian. It's mm. downright Darwinian. This it is, is just indeed. ridiculous. Okay, so this next one. This, I actually physically, viscerally feel <laughs> sorry for this particular news anchor because she boots this around so badly about Bruce Boutreau. Former Washington Capitals coach Bruce Boudreau has been fired by the Vancouver Can Canucks. The team announced the change Sunday, less than a week after the president of hockey operations, Jim Rutherford, said major surgery was needed to fix the Canucks. Rick Tukid was hired as Tukid. Boudreau's replacement. <laughs> Canucks. Rick but it. you know what? As a news anchor of many decades, you have to actually ask someone, how do you say it? Boudreaux, that, not tough. Canuck? You've never heard of Canuck? the Canucks before? Or, okay. or just even a Canadian as a Canuck? Anyway. Okay, Jody, this will make you, it already has made can, you insane. Can we just put a warning up yeah, here? Yeah, please. Okay. Careful. If this you is don't offensive. Like, if you don't like... Violence? <laughs> yes, look away, just briefly. Okay, because this is a new sport and it, it is called the Power Slap League. Two. Okay, that is disgusting. That is brain damage. And you will see other contestants get up and get slapped to the point where they're almost having convulsions. And this is being run by the UFC guy, Dana, Dana White. Dana White, yeah. yeah. Who got caught slapping his wife well, at a New Year's party. That's where they got the idea from. They had to delay I mean, this launch of this quote-unquote They got to stop this. Sport. This, this is, is going to cause brutal. dementia. CTE? What? 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 People are paying for that. Not okay. I can't with that. I also don't like this. And I know these aren't real, but is this fashion? Is this haute couture? Is this a thing? I saw this and I thought, what the hell is that? Uh, this is Paris Fashion Week. That's Kylie Jenner, and yeah. this is her modeling a. It's not a not a real lion. It's not head. real. And the artist that made these heads, there's a wolf head. There's a. It, they're be they're beautiful in in their art artisanal quality. Quality, I don't, I don't know, know. Yeah. But I just the visual of this that it's a trophy of some kind. Yeah, if that's... Jan Arden were here right now, she'd be pissed. Yeah, I don't like it. There's a, there's something really I like distasteful. It. I also don't about like this. It. The Razzies. I know mm. you're not big into the movies and the Oscars and stuff. I'm going to pull you around on that. I got a couple movies I want you to watch. But the Razzies. So this is where they point out crappy performances by actors, which I don't dig anyway. But yeah, it's kind of true. a thing that gets a lot of clicks and whatever. I mean, if you don't like it, don't look at it. But I draw the line at pointing out children, which they've done before. I was a big Big Brooke Shields fan back mm -hmm. in the day, and in 1981, she won a Razzie as a as a preteen. One, and it, one, well, <laughs> yeah. was tagged with. But mm -hmm. Ryan Kira Armstrong there in Firestarter was 11 years old when yeah, she did Firestarter, cool. and now she's 12. In the world of social media, let's not do this. Let's not do this, Razzies. Let's not. Like, yeah. what the hell? The clicks that because they're getting the clicks. We know this to be true. Like, this is how you get the clicks from the. Uh, oh, we're all so enraged. Can we get to time. happy endings? Uh, and here's one that's really interesting. So, Sarah Poli is a great Canadian oh, icon, Polly. actress, film writer, screenwriter, director, you name it. Yeah. And she just got nominated for Best Picture for an Oscar and Best Screenplay, I think, too. Women talking! This, this is where she saw it and she tweeted this, found out she got the nomination expectations were low for today. Oops. <laughs> Here I am at a routine doctor's appointment. I really didn't plan this day, right? So God bless her. Uh, that's incredibly exciting to be nominated for those totally. awards. And if you're somebody who's like, mm, I don't really know who Sarah Polly is, Road to Avonlee. Now you do. Now Go you do. Google her. She's yeah, she's huge. huge. And she's super talented. And, and women Canadian. talking. And James Cameron for uh, mm -hmm. Avatar, yeah, true. the sequel, yeah. also Canadian. There are a couple Canadians that are, we'll mm -hmm. get into the Oscars with Dana G. She'll come and, and get you all prepped, but start watching the mm -hmm. movies that are nominated. And one more thing, uh, close to my heart, 
close to our hearts in Vancouver. One thing that I'm going to pull you to if we can get this festival back on track. Vancouver Folk Festival, you know it, you love it. If you're from around here, you go, you hang out, you're in the sunshine, you can afford it. It's fun, it's community, it's so great. Well, there is a Facebook page to help save the Vancouver Folk Festival. Go on Facebook, look for this, add your name to it. $500,000 is needed. There's enough money in this town to make well, that happen. Because they were saying they were going to cancel it this year and maybe indefinitely. indefinitely. And people are saying, come on, no fun city, let's save our big events. Let's so, say thank you to our team behind mm. the scenes. Handsome Brad, by the way, on vacation watching whales jump. So we got to say thank you, Derek Wong, doing it all. Nina Savage, the right Twist. hand woe man, making it happen. Twist fashion, sword shoes. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Uh, our amazing guests, you. And we will, uh, we're digging away. We're already thinking about next week. So I hope you have a great rest of your week. And we'll see you next week.